How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Stuffs. Uh, last episode, we got to do other stuffs, and now we're going to do more stuffs. So... Let's see, we got Dig. Did, we, did I catch some? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay, I remember what we did. Um, I went and nicknamed this Togetic. I named it Honeyballs. So, I also gave it Shockwave. And leveled it up. Quite a bit. Honey Balls is actually the toughest to grind and level up. So, let's see. I actually didn't fight that many trainers. I think I accidentally fought one. So we got Roar. We fought these two. Yeah, okay. Um... Can't go surfing or waterfalling. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I didn't battle this bro here. Fisherman Claude with his Magikarps. All right, so let's just headbutt. Good, good Goldie. I'm gonna switch it up with something that's semi useful and a Barboach. Oh well. Once Magikarp gets level 21, he'll kill us all. Or not 21, 20. I think that's what it will It's a Gyarados. So, uh, I guess we can go and... Oops. A War Turtle. That I don't really feel like catching. Even if I could, I... Wouldn't. Aeron, I wouldn't. It's got a really crappy typing. I think it's... Steel and ground, like all of the evolved forms. So we can talk to Lanet, who will um, give us a Lotad doll for our gay ass base. And she'll also, by talking to Lanet, I think we now. Can we, like, go on the computer? Oh, it's from Bill. Let's find its research notes. Four twenty hundred thousand Pokemon. Okay. Okay. That wouldn't be able to hold all the Pokemon ever since generation five, but at least it uh, at least Lynette's trying. So now instead of saying someone's PC, it'll say Lynette's PC or whatever. So yeah. We're gonna have see like, let's put honey balls in front. Alright. Okay, this was kind of a mistake bringing out honey balls. Let's just do a metronome and... I we can rock smash Graveler. Probably not gonna kill it, not even close. Ooh, it was Thrash. Well, does that mean honey balls are gonna be confused now? I don't know. There we go. Alright. Good metronome, honey balls. Good metronome. It's funny how Thrash did more damage than Rock Smash would have, probably. Even though Rock Smash is super effective, Thrash has a lot more power. So. Let's talk to this bitch. Camping. With a sand shrew. And that's what he has. A sand shrew. Honey balls isn't gonna do shit against a shan sand shrew. Yeah, a shan shrew. I mean I could metronome, but a lot of possibilities that it won't be a water move. Wow, that was a critical hit. That is something. It's supposed to show how terrible this entry is. Alright, let's see. Nuzleaf? Let's actually get Seelicorn out here. His Ice Aurora Beam. Rainbow Ray. We'll take care of it easily. 
Now there's gonna be rock pokey vans. So we'll have Dovacan out in front. Oh, this guy has an air on him, I'm pretty sure. As you Meryl, don't give a damn. Alright. He's a creepy guy. So it's water gun. And there we go. Oh, we have to register the weirdos of the Pokemon community. The Pokemaniacs. Or at least in Hoenn. So we can use Rock Smash on this thing. And we can find a protein. Which will raise <clears throat> the attack stat of a Pokemon. Plus one. Useful for physical attackers. Is it going to be useful for Honeyballs? No. Is it going to be useful for Dovakin? Yes. <laughs> it actually will be. I forgot it was Dragon, so they have more attack. Is it going to be useful for Seelicorn, though? Mm, no, it's not. Seelicorn's it's more of a special attacker, but only by a little bit. It's more of a... Actually, it's more of a special defense wall, if anything. Well, not really a wall, but... Eh, it does okay. So... Yeah, we got a Kindler here. Looks like we have just the right Pokemon for the job. Let's just skip through this. Let's speed up through this. Oh, he's got a Wingo. It's... Eh, it's fine. Alright, Bernie. And we have a double battle. Let's not get to the double battles. Just fight this guy individually. I'm gonna wanna... I, I, I wanna say that this camper is gonna have, like, a, a low tad or something. I actually don't know. It just makes sense. Oh, uh, they've got a Lombre. How's close? They always do. Stupid Pokemon. Well, Lombre evolves into something pretty awesome. And you'll get to see it in the far future. Not any time soon, of course. But maybe. We might get to see its fully evolved form, which you need a water stone, I'm pretty sure. It's either a water stone or a grass stone. But you do need a stone. So, I have a feeling there might be like an item. Somewhere. Oh, there's definitely an item here. Oh my god. Another Togetic. Carbos. I think that raises like special attack or. Where's Carbos? No, it raises speed. Another War Turtle. And then, okay, let's beat you. Now we have one more guy who's up in the mountains, lonely, lonely hiker Lenny, who has no friends because he just goes around yelling at stupid thing that people haven't yelled since, you know, the Yodi Lay He Who. You lay he who? No one says that. What is this? The 1600s? So, I don't know why I just rock smash there, but... If I had secret or hidden power, I could probably smash open that wall in the, where the indent is. Oh, a new area, so that means we can catch a new Pokemon. Oh, God. Oh, luckily I got out of there before trying to catch something. I only have two Pokeballs, and I don't feel like taking any chances with just two Pokeballs. So let's get our selves out of there. Oh my god. Politoed. Interesting. That is a path that Poly... Wag? Is it the path Poliwag can take? I think you need an evolutionary stone for, and to evolve. It might be 
poly whirl into poly toad. Yeah, I think that's it. Use like a water stone on poly toad. No, no, no. Poly whirl and evolve into poly toad. Whereas I think it'll just regularly evolve into poly wrath. So we'll just buy like 15. Oh wait, 9,000? No, let's. Let's make the price a little over 9,000. Super potions, how many do we have? Let's get another one. Those. Nothing else that's worth anything. Hey, is that Lanet? No. Oh, she wants her stupid skitty to evolve with a moonstone. And I think we get a moonstone in Meteor Falls, so. Maybe. Her lazy ass can head up to Meteor Falls and battle some Team Aqua. Get her stupid Skitty to evolve. Why do they look so different? Oh, what am I to do? I don't know. Meteor Falls. Wait, wait, wait. Rustboro City. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there's. You can go to Rustboro City. So, here we are, Meteor Falls. Let's catch a Pokemon. If it's worth it. Not at all. God damn it. I don't want a crocodile. I don't even want a Feraligator. Alright. Oh, it's Team Magma this time. What are they saying? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way, Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you can have your way with the world. <laughs> Even Team Aqua joins us. Oh wait, that's Team Aqua. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. Hey, it doesn't matter. We've got the oh, we've got the meteorite. So off to Mount Jimmy we go. <laughs> we'll be seeing you, you Team Aqua dingbat motherfuckers. Didn't I see you before at Sleepforce Museum? Ah, so your name's Frost. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. Hmm, you're one odd kid. And Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. Our rivals of us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. Boss, we should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, yes we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Frost, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma too. Farewell. Why does this sound so girls? Team Magma. Team Aqua is really sounding like a girl with that accent. I apologize. I'll never do it ever again. I'll never I'll never catch a skip loom and I'll never make up accents for Team Magma and Team Aqua. Well this guy's Cosmo who will give us something. No, he won't give us something. He's an asshole. We don't need anything anyway, but there is an item up there. Another Crocona. This must be Crocona Cave. So we got a Moonstone. This is the Moonstone. And a Skip Loom. And we can... Oh my god. Holy shit, a Charizard. I wouldn't mind picking up one of these babies. Let's actually kill it. See how much experience we can get. See, that's a good amount of experience. But let's just... Um, more crocodiles. This is like starter Pokemon cave in, in here. Holy shit! Another starter Pokemon! What the hell is up with this? Another fucking Charizard. No, well, besides Skip Loom, I forgot about this. Gay Pokemon, it's so stupid. No one uses Skip Looms. Unless you evolve into Jump Luff. Actually, does it evolve into Jump Luff? I think it does. It only really makes sense. Oh shit, look what we got here. We got a Karate Knob. Black Belt Knob. It's a great name. I like it. Black Belt Knob's head is spinning. 
Oh, and we get to register Black Belt Knob. Thanks for the register, Knob. Who's this person? And another trainer! With metatites, like every other fucking battle girl in the world. Always has fucking Makuhitas and... Same piece of shit Pokemon. Oh, but soon they'll evolve, evolve into the whatever the form is. So we got a Seviper fight up ahead, so... I guess... We'll just switch into Nito. So let's just dig up in here. Oh, use a sword stance. I would be terrified if this was like a Wi-Fi battle, but you know, it's not a Wi-Fi battle. So yeah. That's the reason I wanted Nito up in front, because it's poison. Oh, we disturbed meditation. We punished. Because we have a psychic or something. Yeah. Psychic Marlene with her metatite. Fuck you. Fucking metatites. Anyway, they're not that bad. They're actually easy. And Spoink. Well, this is gay. Alright. Thanks for this. Spoink. How do we get here? Oh, we got a rock smash. Luckily, we've got Nigo for that. And a great ball. It's okay. We got some more great balls. We got some block berries. I cannot tell you what these block berries do. Do they are they for awakening? Like, do they awake you? Or I have a feeling this is Pokeblock ingredient. Yep. Pokeblock. Fusion. Burn, poisoning. Oh, Chesto. That's for waking Pokemon up. Did I really skip that item? That's. That's not like me. Just be skipping blatant items here. Super Potion. Wow. I should have known better. Anyway. What I'm going to do is, uh, we'll heal. That's what we'll do. Alright, now that that's over with, we're going back to, um, Mauville City. Yeah, I think that's where we'll go. So let's just run past... Actually, let's see if those berries are... No, berries are still unplanted. And I don't feel like planting them. Okay. So, we'll run back to Mr. Briny's cottage. Since he will offer his boat services for as long as we don't have surf. Oh, fuck. Where is he? I thought he'd be back here. Oh, my God. Okay, well... I guess he's not anywhere. Oh my god. He doesn't just sort of follow you. That, oh, I should have known. I'm stupid. But, actually, no, 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 that's that's good. That, uh, why didn't I think of this before? I can just break open... Um, oh, it's a Chansey. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, we got a repeat ball from this guy. Sorry, I'm, I'm in a rush. That's why I'm skipping. I don't mean to, like, turbo up here, but oh, I forgot I can use Rock Smash in this cave. This is where we get strength. It's probably, like, the first thing I should have done after I got Rock Smash was get HMO4. And oh, here's another Scyther. Yeah, I don't mean to uh, turbo up so much, but uh, I'm an idiot, and I just want to get back to Mobile as fast as possible. Oh my god, did I not fight any of these people? Holy crap. How did I skip over this? I think in all of my haste grinding these 
Pokemon up so much in like this area. I'm grinding one Pokemon up in this area. I skipped the trainers. Hmm. Well, let's... Okay, we're back in Mobile. Let's heal up again. Alright, no, 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 no! Okay. 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 That episode was a bit of a annoying one. I don't mean to, you know, boost like that as much as possible, but it was necessary since I don't want to have to deal with all the random encounters and walking back because I'm stupid and didn't realize we could open the Rust Burrow Tunnel or whatever and rock smash our way back into Verdant Turf, but we did that. So that's cleared up. We have Strength. I want to teach that to a Pokemon that I think would fare well with it. Looks like Nito's the only one. I don't really want to make Nito an HM slave. She's too good for that. So, what I'm going to do is... Well, I guess we can... Just head on up to... Holy shit, another trainer I didn't battle. I'm skipping trainers left and right. Alright, item no, item no, item no. Alright, that should be all the trainers that I missed. Besides the one I still didn't get near Mauville. But I'll do those later. Uh, wait, did I get this? Yeah, I got this guy. And this guy. And if you'll notice, the path to... Whatever this place is, is now open. And we get some cool music, and we get a monolith or whatever. A monorail. Looks like a ski lift. I don't even know what to call this thing. But, it go take this to Mount Chimney. Well, we've got Team Aqua and Team Magma bros dueling it out with their Puchainas, and it's pretty much all these, all the teams have. Just Puchainas, Camerups, Numels, and Zubats. And sometimes a Golbat, if you're a higher ranking one. But look at this, this is a gangbang, 3v1. So yeah, there's a lot of battles going on here. And what we're gonna do is, we're going to, since we're fighting only Team Magma, we're gonna keep Nito and Dovakin up in front. The only thing Nito has to worry about are water and grass types, and of course, Team Magma is not either of those, so we can keep that in check, and the only thing that Sealy corn. No, the only thing Dovakin has to worry about are grass, electrics. I'm not sure about ice. I think it does neutral, considering it's water type. But it definitely has to look out for electrics and grass, along with um, what else? I might have to look out for dragon types. I think it's. Dragon type is super effective against Dovakin. I'm not sure. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt. Actually, no, it doesn't. It's just that when you're underground. Uh, it's when you're underground and moves like Earthquake and Magnitude. I think they're doubled. Actually, but I don't know. I don't know if it's in this generation or it's in generation 4 and up, but, well, it's worrisome enough for me to think Nito was going to die there for a second, so. Alright, oh, her dream of a big house. Maybe you can have a house under the sea when Team Magma loses and Team Aqua is the superior. So we'll switch out Sealycorn. She uh, he's under level just a little bit, so and he has a water gun, I do believe. Actually, no, he 
even have shit in the water category. It's just headbutt then, I guess. Yep, like I said, Newell, uh, Puchaina, and Zubat, and sometimes Golbat. Like Maxi here. He's gonna be a pain in the ass. So we'll put Dopekin up in front. I'm not sure what he's gonna bring out though. Oh, we should, probably shouldn't skip that. So, okay. <clears throat> I heard Archie bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you he meant. Humph. So you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now you listen. Long ago, things used to live, or things used the land to live and grow. That is why land is all important. It is the cradle of all. This is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the land mass. It is for the further advancement of humankind and Pokemon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps within this mountain. Oh, there was no need for you to learn that much. But no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling in our grand design. It's not like he's gonna kill me, he's just gonna attempt to incapacitate my Pokemon. But that's not gonna happen. Slightly concerned. I mean, the Mighty Yuna does lower attack, so. I actually have Water Gun, I don't give a shit. Yeah, that doesn't even do much. This isn't gonna kill it. I mean, it's gonna use a Super Potion and Sand Attack. Oh, yeah. Don't get out, speeds your ass. Alright, next is a Zubat. I'm gonna switch Zubat for Silicorn. It's Aurora Beam the living poop out of its butthole. Oh, and camera upped. Alright, this is Dobekin, it's time to shine. Let's see how much a water gun will do. All of it! That's what I'm talking about. And we defeated Team Magma Leader Maxi. Yes, Magma, Max, Leader, Maxi, Magma Team. You were caught off guard. Ah, but enough. I will back off this time. But don't think that this is the last you've seen of Team Magma. A ah, foo 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 foo. Even without the meteorite, we obtained that orb. Foo foo foo. Archie, Frost, thank you. Oh wait, I, I wouldn't do an accent. I promised you. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? Oh, it doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. Frost, we shall meet again. And if we look in here, we have a meteorite that we can remove. And we can go and give it back to that guy in Meteor Falls. Which I think will suit us nicely. Considering he might give us something... Oh, and this lady sells lava cookies, 200, and it cures, like, all status, or... Does it cure just burn? No, I think it does everything. So we'll buy a lot. And that should do it. And here is a new route we're going to be popping up on. Uh, Jagged Pass, which translates into new Pokemon that we can catch. Potentially. If they're good. So let's, let's just skedaddle out of here. And let's see what Pokemon there are. This is where we can also uh, get some suit. So we get a Ledian as our first Pokemon. Disappointment? I think so. Alright, that is actually pretty disappointing. Nothing here. I don't have the acro bike, so it's not like I can go do some MLG BMXing up here. Another Team Magma. I thought he'd just give us something. I guess not. Um, Alright then. Let's just kill this Pokemon real quick. No, I thought he'd give us, like, TM. So, we got some more trainers that we'll skip a dappa dooba dooba through. 
I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, icy beam this. Level 33. Let's icy beam the Oddish. And let's icy beam the Swablu. Ooh, I, I'm not even using Ice Beam. I'm using Aurora Beam. But I cannot wait to face the Flying Gym, which I think is the sixth gym. Uh, because Ice is going to be a quadruple weakness to whatever the hell her name is, is Ace. Which is Dragon Flying. It's like, it's like the worst Dragon type you could possibly get. I don't know why people even consider it. But it does have a quad weakness to Ice, which is... Perfect. Can't wait to see that thing burn. Or, in this case, freeze. Alright, so we'll go to the PC. I think this has been a longer episode. And I hope you like the longer episodes. I do not, personally, but... <laughs> um, some lose track of the time. Oh, what we can do is we can hang out with some old naked ladies in this hot tub. Oh, yeah. What's up, ladies? They're claiming that these hot springs are good for calming nervous tension, relieving aching muscles, solving romantic problems, and attracting money. So basically, they're hookers. They're straight up hookers. They're attracting their flabby naked asses to this hot spring where we pay to bang those flabby naked asses <laughs> which I will not pay for and what we can do in here is get this egg um yeah we'll take the egg I don't know if this randomizer like addition to the to this Pokemon file will randomize eggs, but it's worth a shot. But I, I'm pretty sure it'll still evolve into it. Why not? So, yeah, I don't think eggs are randomized. That'd be cool if they are. Definitely be cool if they are. So, I'm gonna ep end the episode here in this sand sheet, or whatever, near this hot spring with some old naked flabby hookers behind me uh thanks for watching next time we'll take on this gym which is right below us and we'll do some more stuff